Hi, I'm Greg Stoll, and I'm going to show you why LJ for WebOS is the best way to browse and post a live journal from your WebOS phone. When you launch the app, it remembers your username and password and logs into LiveJournal. If you're somewhere with no internet access, you can view the posts offline from the last time you ran LJ for WebOS. Then it checks for any new or updated posts and downloads them for easy viewing. From this post, you can see your friends' posts, including subject, user pics, number of comments, and how long ago it was posted. Now, if you tap on the post, it brings up the full view, where you can see the mood, music, tags, uh, and location, if it's specified. And you can sc scroll through the entry to read it, and once you get to the bottom, you can reply um, and view any comments that are already there. Now, a new feature of this release is thumbnails. Large images on a post will be automatically shrunk down for easier viewing. You can control this setting in the preferences, which we'll see in a minute. The button at the bottom lets you easily scroll through your next and previous posts. Back at the list of posts, you can also see your own posts, which is handy for seeing if anyone has commented on them recently. You can also load more posts to view previous posts with the button here at the bottom. Now let's look at making a post. You can tap the new post button to start this process. Here you can enter a subject and can tap the properties button to set various properties, including selecting a user pick. You can see it brings up the tags and the pictures for all of them and setting the security of a post. You can see you can do public, friends only, private, or custom, which lets you specify some of the groups of friends. I'll leave this one public. Um, if you have access to post to a community, you can set that as well. You can choose any of these. Um, once you're done with that, you can start typing your post. You can add a link by specifying a URL and a title. And you can also include a photo or a picture. Clicking on this button here. So here's where you pick the photo, and let's see, if one of these sample ones, I'll pick this guy. And you can specify whether it goes to IMGUR, where anyone can see it, or your own live journalist scrapbook, where it'll stay around longer. So now it's doing the upload, and after it does that, you can specify whether you want to include the full image, or just a large or small thumbnail with a link to the full picture. Once you're done writing your post, you just hit send, and after it's done, you can view it inside the app or at livejournal.com. And here we can see it. Now, let's take a quick look at the preferences. Here you can, um, one of the things you can set is content and list, which shows all the post content in the list, much like reading your friends page. Um, it's also worth noting that you can turn the app on its side, put it in landscape mode if you prefer for easier reading, which is most useful in this mode. You can also configure how many posts are loaded by default and your default post security when you make new posts, just as you can on individual posts. Um, here you can set the size for thumbnails, whether you want them to be present at all, large, medium, or small. And that about wraps it up. If you have any questions about LJ for WebOS or problems with it, please email me and I'll be happy to help you get it worked out. You can do that easily in here by clicking about and just clicking send email. Thanks for watching and enjoy LJ for WebOS.